Earth, wow, that is... Returning to Earth is one of the most dangerous steps of any space mission. After plummeting through the atmosphere at about 27,000 kilometers per hour, the Crew Dragon capsule deployed its parachutes and splashed down into the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see on your screen, and by the cheers behind us, the Polaris Dawn crew has successfully splashed down. It marks the end to a mission that made history not once, but twice. Not since NASA's moonwalkers half a century ago had humans traveled this high. The Polaris Dawn hits a peak altitude of more than 1,400 kilometers above the Earth's surface, before lowering it to carry out the first ever private spacewalk. Tech billionaire Jared Isaacman became only the 264th person to perform a spacewalk. SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis, the 265th. It was a chance for the crew to test the company's new spacesuits, which it hopes could enable future missions, potentially as far as the moon or even Mars. The day after the spacewalk, this video was released. Welcome aboard the Dragon spacecraft. I'm Sarah Gillis, one of the Polaris Dawn crew members. As we travel around our beautiful planet Earth on this five-day mission, we wanted to share this special music moment with you. Gillis played music from the film Star Wars The Force Awakens on her violin, alongside videos of orchestras performing the song in studios and on sound stages around the world. Back on Earth now, Isaacman, Gillis, as well as the two other crew members, Anna Menon and Scott Kid Petit, appeared in good health and high spirits. NASA called the mission a giant leap forward for the commercial space industry. <laughs>